Redmi devices are typically known for being value champs. They tend to have pretty good specs for less money. The Redmi Note 12, I called it the new budget king. The Redmi 12, which was released after, that too was arguably the best phone at its price. So this, the Redmi 13C, is this also a value champ? Yes, yes it is, at least on paper. The 13C starts at 98,100 Naira and goes up to 121,000. For that price, you get the Helio G85 chipset up to 8GB of RAM, also up to 256GB of storage, a 50MP camera, a 90Hz refresh rate, and then a 5000mAh battery. So again, impressive specs for less money. But we know that specs on paper don't always tell the whole story. So let me tell you the whole story. The whole story. Come on, it's funny, it's funny. Just like with the 12C, Redmi didn't include wide earphones and a TPU case in the box. Because of that, I've been forced to use this phone without a case. And unless you can find yourself a case, you would too. Although the phone not coming with a case is kind of a bummer, it does give you the opportunity to show off its new design. When compared to the 12C, we can all agree that the design got an upgrade. When I posted the unboxing, people seem to really like how it looks now. I think the camera section looks especially nice. My only issue is that it's glossy, so it retains a lot of fingerprint marks. The rest of the rear though is matte, which should do a better job when it comes to hiding those fingerprint marks. We also get flat sides, which now seems to be the norm. We get the fingerprint sensor on the side, the headphone jack, a dual SIM slash SD card tray, one mono speaker, one mic and a type C port. On the 12C, they went with a micro USB port, but now we have type C, which I guess is also an upgrade. There is no IR blaster, which we typically see on Redmi phones, but since it wasn't on the 12C or even the 10C, we can't really complain. Looking at the front, there's now a U-shaped notch, which is slightly different from the V-shaped notch on its predecessor. There's also a significant amount of bezels around the screen, most especially the chin. We also really can't complain, because, I mean, it's a budget phone. The screen resolution is still 720p, it's still an IPS LCD display, but now the refresh rate has been upgraded to 90Hz, which a lot of people will appreciate. Out of the box, it is set to auto refresh, but you can of course change that if you want it to be on 90 Hz all the time. In terms of how the display looks, it's all right. I watched a couple YouTube videos, some shows too, and it was fine. It does have that over sharpened look, which is typical for budget phones, but it's still fine. Oh, and you would also struggle to see what's on screen when under direct sunlight. So overall, the display is okay. The 90Hz refresh rate definitely is its cool factor and also counts as an upgrade when compared to the 12C. I mentioned earlier that this comes with the Helio G85 processor, which I think is a really good processor for the price. The 12C, if you remember, also came with the Helio G85, so there's no upgrade here. The G85 is pretty old, but it's still capable of handling everyday tasks and even some level of gaming. I was able to install Asphalt 9 and when I played the game, I didn't face any serious issues. There were occasional frame drops, but it didn't affect my gaming experience a whole lot. And when it comes to multitasking, it does pretty well. You can have multiple apps open and switch between them pretty easily. There are three different RAM configurations. Mine was the six gigabyte version. And I'll suggest getting that or the eight gigs variant cause the more RAM you have, the better your experience will be. I think if you're a casual phone user, someone who spends most of their time on social media, texting, and maybe some occasional gaming, the Redmi 13C would fulfill all of your needs. So it's good, but technically not an upgrade. And I think that's the same case with the cameras. The 13C, just like the 12C, has a 50 megapixel main camera. The selfie camera though was improved from five megapixels to eight. Looking at the samples, I like the main camera a lot. There's a lot of processing going on, for sure. 
but I do like how the images look. They're pretty vibrant and colorful and also pretty sharp. These are honestly really good looking images and you would get similar results as long as you have enough sunlight. The selfie camera though is not as good. I mean, it is eight megapixels. For video, you can shoot max at 1080p on both cameras with no stabilization. Video quality is just about what you'd expect from a budget phone. I definitely feel the phone takes better photos than videos. For the battery, this comes with a 5000 mAh battery and supports 18 watt of fast charging. But note that they give you a 10 watt charging brick, even though it supports 18 watts. Battery life is very solid as you'd expect. A casual phone user should expect a full day of use with this phone. When I game for an hour straight, it took just 10% of the battery, which comes out at almost 10 hours of battery life when gaming. So when you're not gaming, it should last even longer. That's really good. And then when the phone does die, it will take you a little over two and a half hours to fully charge this phone. But if you can get a fast charger, you should be able to cut down charging time by like 40 minutes. The 13C is running on MIUI 14 on top of Android 13. The 13C though lacks some popular Redmi features like second space, split screen multitasking and the app sidebar feature. Another thing worth mentioning is Redmi's reputation with MIUI. A decent amount of users have complained of their phones bugging out after receiving an update. So even though I personally haven't noticed any of such, I feel it's still worth mentioning. So in conclusion, the Redmi 13C is another solid budget phone from Redmi and definitely gets a shot for best in its price category, especially because of the Helio G85 processor and its 90 Hz refresh rate. But if you're using the 12C or even the 10C and it's working fine, I wouldn't suggest upgrading just yet. But for everyone else, anyone looking for a good performer or even a gaming phone for around 120K, then yes, I would suggest checking out the Redmi 13C. But yeah, that's my review of the Redmi 13C. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you when you see me.